Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on August 23rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. We're going to start out here looking at our sun. As we did have a couple large plasma filaments rip away. You can see those large plasma ropes hanging off of the southwestern limb of the sun and the northwest. Whap! Look at that. Amazing images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. So there was a plasma rope hanging off of the coronal hole that is incoming to Earth facing. And that ripped away overnight. Almost destabilized the coronal hole. Looking here, another different light. can see the corona largely affected by those plasma ropes. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining Morning Dew. Welcome to the family. I really hope that you enjoy the content that I create for you. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Disaster alerts from around the world following extreme weather and space weather. Looking here at our real-time solar wind. We are steady at 308, 376 kilometers per second. Had a, a small spike overnight. Let's get to the earthquakes last 24 hours. Yesterday we did have a 5.0 in California. That's right. Uh, reports were coming out around noon of the 5.0. Little Lake, California. That is part of the Long Valley Caldera. And these earthquakes haven't stopped going since the large 6.7 earthquake in California back in, when was that, July? July 4th. Let's get to the earthquakes, largest being 5.9 here, as well 5.2 at a 220 kilometer depth. Vanuatu rocking that 5.3 as well, but very quiet west side of the Ring of Fire. Most of the action is on east side, Central America, South America, and of course, Cascadia, San Andreas Fault. Still quiet though, Cascadia subduction zone. And that's where I believe all this energy is slipping into. So stay aware and prepared. Let's hope that nothing folds and snaps along the West Coast. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes this last seven days. And they seem to be increasing. So stay aware and prepared. Have a plan and be ready. Let's overlook the situation in South America and Africa as fire anomalies are still showing up hundreds of forest fires throughout the Amazon. And there doesn't seem to be any relief in sight. Northern parts of Brazil did get some rain last night, but still it is a smoked out continent. It doesn't look as bad as Africa, Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected. Thoughts and prayers to that living and breathing natural rainforest, the Amazon. Overlooking Africa here, you can see it's quite a situation there in Congo. Very thick smoke. And again, hundreds of forest fires. So that is the forest fire situation from around the world. You can see we are hot. Last seven day visible image overlooking North America here. As we watch that sneaky little low move into the Gulf and now there are two low pressure centers. One is hanging out just south of Texas and the other one is forming off the coast of Florida. Overlooking the storm coverage, we do have three named storms and two areas of interest. 
Here we're looking at Tropical Storm Bayou, who is still just a tropical storm, not even a Category 1. And we'll be heading to south parts of Taiwan in the next 48 hours on its way. Also looking at area of interest in the Atlantic Ocean. This is area of interest number 99, formed overnight. And here is area of interest 98 off the coast of Florida. Also looking at Tropical Storm Ivo, who is heading north-northwest, tracking straight up the seaboard, western United States. Watch for that storm to possibly pick up speed and head into the Rockies. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. We're going to start out here overlooking Tropical Storm Bayou and also the West Pacific. As Tropical Storm Bayou is going to be picking up a lot of moisture throughout China and then heading into Korea and Kamchatka in the coming days. Watching a lot of moisture getting picked up. Large low pressure center just east of the Philippines. Overlooking North America. Alberta had quite the cool down last night. A couple beautiful shelf clouds rolled in and some thunderstorms definitely sparked and brewed up across Saskatchewan and Manitoba. The cool down is coming, folks. It is coming. As the cool transition comes, watch for pop-up thunderstorms throughout Alberta today and tomorrow. And then, of course, throughout the east side, North America, the cool down is coming. So this tropical storm, Ivo, is not expected to hit land, but it could very well ride right up the West Rockies here, of United States, overlooking South America, no relief in sight still. Northern regions got some rain yesterday, but they need those large daily pop-up thunderstorms and they're not getting them. It's too hot. Overlooking Argentina, still watching wave after wave of storms affect the region. They could be looking at the largest snowfall totals in history. We're going to be looking into that for sure. New Zealand, just missing that large low pressure, very tightly whipped and windy one. Australia, not much weather to talk about at all, except for the cool temperatures that are prevailing in the southeast. Watch for temperature anomalies coming up here in the next month. Africa, not much weather to talk about either. Except for a couple more areas of interest getting ready to roll off the continent. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And smash that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.